So casually, they'll flip it over. And what's up, pranksters? Welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to pull off a prank in your kitchen. All you guys are gonna need is kitchen materials such as baking soda and vinegar. We all know what those two things cost when they mix together. Well, we're gonna use that to our advantage in this video. Just like I showed you in a previous video that I made with my friends, Sinfado and SB, we're gonna be creating a big mess using baking soda and vinegar. So I hope you guys enjoy this because you guys will easily be able to do this prank at home, on your family, on April Fool's Day. So let's get started guys. First, let's make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel with the bell notifications turned on. Hit that thumbs up button guys. Don't forget to hit it and check it out. All right, before we begin, I wanna let you guys know what we're gonna be using for this prank. As you guys can see right here, I have some baking soda, some vinegar, food coloring, a cup, and tape. That's basically all we're gonna need. So first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna open up this box of baking soda. Well, actually, this one's already opened, as you guys can see. It's open on the sides, but we're gonna actually open up the whole thing. So we're gonna undo the flap on top so we have access to the inside. Now this baking soda I've already been using for a while, so it's half empty. All right, here it is, as you guys can see. Just like I said, it's half empty. Well, it's more than half empty, it's practically empty. But that's a good amount of baking soda that we'll be using for this prank. And right here I have my cup, guys. We're gonna be cutting this cup to be able to fit it inside this box of baking soda. So make sure you get the right measurements and cut out the cup. For example, right here, it's gonna be about this height. So this is where I'm basically gonna be cutting, right there, around that level. So I drew my outline on it, and now I'm gonna take my blade. Whoa, I'm missing a blade. <laughs> okay, I put my blade in, and now I'm gonna be cutting out this cup. So just cut around it. And that is it, look at that. That's all we're gonna need. And now let's see if it'll fit inside the box of baking soda. Perfect, just like that. Now before we close up this box, we're gonna fill it up with some vinegar. So get yourself some vinegar and pour some inside. Not all the way up, but this amount will do. And then, guess what? We're gonna add a little bit of food coloring on it just to give it a little color. So a few drops will do the trick. Look how fast that turns it red. Okay, that'll do. So now our prank has color. Okay, next guys, we're gonna dump a little bit on the counter. So pick your spot where you're gonna set up this prank at and my spot is right here. So I just poured some on the counter and that's fine. And now I'm gonna put my vinegar inside my box of baking soda. It fit in perfectly. I'm gonna close up the flaps and I'll be using tape to hold everything in place. And the prank is set, guys. We're gonna leave this as is, tilt it on its side, and now it's just there. So before it creates a bigger mess, whoever comes into the kitchen, whether it's your mom, your dad, or your grandma, or whoever, they're gonna pick this up to avoid an even bigger mess and when they do that, all the contents inside are gonna mix together and cause an even bigger, bigger mess. I'm gonna show you a demo right now. All right, guys, it is prank time. As you guys can see, I have the box of baking soda on its side with the vinegar inside that's mixed with a little bit of food coloring. So whoever comes into the kitchen, they're gonna see that the box of baking soda is already making a mess. As you guys can see on the counter, there's some baking soda on there. Well, their natural instinct will be to pick it up turn it right side up. And when that happens, well, let's find out. So casually, they'll flip it over and the contents will be mixing and then that happens. <laughs> it looks like the box of baking soda threw up on the counter, right? Let's see that again. The contents will be mixed, the contents will be mixed. And this is the mess that nobody will want to clean up. 
Because guys, it really is hard wiping down vinegar and baking soda. So try it out. As you guys just saw, this prank is very, very messy and it's perfect for April Fool's Day. Anybody in the kitchen would fall for it. It could be your mom, your grandma, your dad, anybody that goes into the kitchen will fall for this prank. So if you guys wanna try it out, go for it, but you can only get away with it on April Fool's Day because most people will be expecting pranks that day. <laughs> and that way they won't get mad at you. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, I hope you gave it a big thumbs up. Continue supporting my projects, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I'll see you pranksters in my next one.